What's going on, family? <clears throat> Hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. We are back in the Jeep. And well, today, man, I'm gonna be heading out to a, another, heading out to an event held by one of my buddies, man. One of my Corvette brothers, RJ. Uh, yeah, man, we about to partake upon some <laughs> cars and ice cream. <laughs> yeah. guys we are back at it headed to cars and ice cream and uh no 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 we have not gotten the vet back yet yeah i know i know man it's uh dang they got car cars over there man living out <laughs> When you live amongst the trees, man, the cool part about living amongst the trees is that you're protected by those trees. You're covered by those trees. When the leaves leave, and I mentioned this before in previous videos, we who live amongst the trees, we hate it. We love having our cover of leaves. I just passed the house. Um that the leaves have left and look like they, you know, we're getting to the point where they're probably gonna be coming back here pretty soon. And uh, <clears throat> I saw a Porsche coupe. I saw a Porsche SUV and third when I couldn't make it out, but it looked, it looked foreign, it looked nice. But anyway, hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. <clears throat> it's pretty outside. I feel like I'm a little congested. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm good, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm ain't nothing, nothing else going on. It's probably something I ate. But um, we're heading out to Cars and Ice Cream at my buddy's uh, RJ's DQ. Um, and uh, there should be a lot of the guys, the, the crew of guys that I met um, at one of the car uh, meetups in Algonquin. It's a bunch of Carvette guys. Um, they should be there. You know, this is where I met RJ and he introduced me to that crew of guys. And again, you know, it just really pushed me over the edge when it came to me moving forward with getting my car. It was like, man, I just, it just had to happen, right? When I first started looking again, RJ was the guy that was, man, he kept sending me cars. Boom, boom. Hey man, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. And uh, man, what's going on over here? All right, so, yeah, man, so we going over and support my guy, man. He's got this thing going on. I hope I get down time. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, so it should be a good time. Uh, need to give you guys an update on the vet. Yep, been about three weeks. Have not had my car back. Um, and to be absolutely transparent with you guys, nothing's been done to it. They've assessed it. Let me back up. They have assessed the, the damage and um, all their parts to fix it. Um, some of the parts came in. Gaskets did not come in. Therefore, he couldn't finish or start or start the work because, you know, to start it means it sits on a rack and it takes up space. He can focus on something else. Again, this is one guy that's working on this car. So. We gotta be mindful of that stuff. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm like super, super blue waiting for my car. I cannot wait to get my car back. And it bugs me that um, I have to wait this long. Most importantly, I said it before in other videos. I've said it over and over again to, you know, my guys who support me, yes, who, who's been my support system through this trying time. Uh, is that it's in good hands and it's gonna get taken care of. That's the most important thing, right? We could have took it to someone that could have, you know, fixed it in a shorter period of time. 
but would have would they have fixed it with the same level of quality that's that's to be questioned right um but it's all good man it, like i said we, we we could be dealing with something that could be a whole lot worse um but we're gonna be patient and we're gonna get it done um right now my last conversation with them at the dealership was um as i mentioned the part of i tell you about previous conversation and I, and I and i apologize for not giving you guys a little bit more updates a few more updates as i've been learning i need to get into a habit that if i don't have the content i want i gotta at least put something up at least once a week man um you know no matter how i feel or how frustrated i feel about you know my little situation man, i could be in a situation like cj man with cj on 32 salute to my brother man um the fact that he lost a whole car whole two hundred thousand dollar vehicle man look at this thing sheesh pretty that thing is nice like the batmobile man <laughs> i miss my car but anyway we stopped uh he lost a whole two hundred thousand dollar jeep man to something um that was, I don't know, could have been avoidable by the people that made it. Who knows? It could have been a super freak accident. Who knows whatever drove this thing to do what it did. The blessing is that they did not get hurt. No one was hurt. The car was home. Cars can be replaced. Um, but you cannot replace lives, right? I don't care how much that thing costs. And it, 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 and it, could, it hurts. I know it hurts. To be out the money, to be out the vehicle, I think more than anything, if you guys watch this video, um, the previous video that, that, or at least that he shot before the incident happened, man, he was super excited about having his, having that Jeep back and taking it out and, and enjoying it. Man, why this lady wants to run next to me like this? Taking it out and having a good time in his vehicle. He missed it, you know what I mean? And then for it to be gone, the reason why I compared it to that is because I waited, you know, all winter. I, you gotta remember, I got that thing in November. I waited all winter to get it and finally drive it and enjoy it. Had a few, a few drives per se, a few rides in it, and then it's down. It, it, you know, waiting for that, it kind of sucks. You know what I mean? I'm just, man, I'm just ready to have my car back, man. That's all. Sheesh, I was rolling, man. Past the cop, the black thing come out. Of but um, again, the blessing for my guys over there, man, uh, CJ and Marty Mar, man, they, nobody got hurt. That's the blessing. That's what's important. That's the most important thing out of everything that happened. No one got hurt. But anyway, man, so I'm on the road heading over there to uh, support my guys' event. Um, cars and ice cream. And. Uh, what is this coming down the road? Oh, man. Should be some decent cars out there. I expect there should be a, a nice bit of vets out. Um, there should be some other stuff out as well. I think my guy, uh, Ray, Ray should be coming out, but I don't think he got his Hellcat back from Satera. So he's gonna probably take the SRT Jeep out. Um, I don't know anybody else who's showing up. But we will definitely see what's happening once we get there. Yep. 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 Alright guys, so we're gonna focus on this road. And then uh come back home once we get there, man. Yep.
You guys won't believe me when I tell you, man. I'm just having some of the craziest luck right now. So I make it here, on my way here, and like 30 minutes before I got here, people gone. My guy waited for me. My guy, RJ, man, he's got that black vet. He's the, he's the guy that came with me, man, when I picked up my car, man. He just got the ZR1 wheels on his car. That's him right here. And now he's about to roll out. He waited on me. Yeah, man. I am having some kind of luck. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Uh, we gonna just call this video. The vet update video. Cause that's pretty much all I was able to give you guys today is an update of the vet. I don't know, man. I think I'm losing it. I think part of the problem for me up here, man, is that the time of all these other events, right? So, <clears throat> so when they do a lot of these car events, man, they do them on Sundays and they do them at, you know, like in the morning. My biggest challenge, oh, 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 oh man, D'Angelo, you got all the, all the loot, bro. You ain't gotta be trying to get on me, chill out. Anyway, um, for me, man, I got church on Sundays. I can't just, you know what I mean? It's, that's an obligation. So it kind of messes with, you know, my little routine. Because usually when they are having these events, it's during the time that I'm at, you know, I'm at church or and then on my way back or... Uh, Usually it ends before I get there, so I don't know, man. I guess I'm gonna have to figure something out. Hit up some Saturday events, Saturday events, because clearly the uh, I'm in the wrong lane. I gotta hit up some Saturday events, because clearly these Sunday events they don't work for me. Mm -mm. <laughs> they don't work. They do not work. My goodness. But it's all good, man. Again, I, I still got a chance to see my guys. See some of my guys, at least. The guys that were still here when that was leaving as I got here. I didn't get a, get a chance to meet, uh, catch up with the bulk of the guys, man. Most of the vets, they went off. And it was primarily for car vets, just, just as a note, guys. Uh, so most of the car vet guys, they went off to uh, Romeoville. There was an event out there. It was a uh, taco event and a cruise and so they basically went you know headed out to that thing so i didn't get a chance to catch up with them. Um, i couldn't benefit from the whole thing anyway because well i don't have my car until i get my car you know showing up in a jeep isn't always my best option it'd be great to get some some footage for you guys when i can make it on time um and actually film something worth filming um but other than that, man, uh, I, I gotta be patient and, and wait till I get my car. So even if, if I'd have had my car and I was late to the party, at least to this event, which, you know, support my guy, RJ, it was his event. Um, even if I was late to it, I could have been, you know, at least met those guys in Romeoville to catch up for the whatever cruise that they were doing. So I still have an opportunity to get out and cruise, right? Not there, but we'd have got out and cruise, which honestly is probably <laughs> my absolute favorite thing. Listen, to be in the vet, I mean, to sit outside the vet and put me parked looking at cars, it's great. Honestly, it's, it's awesome, right? <laughs> but there's nothing like driving. So if I had the choice of sitting outside my car and letting the world look at it and it's pretty, or driving the car, man, I don't want to be in it driving it. I mean, let's let's just be perfectly frank. I want to be driving it. Ooh, look at this little dude right here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Sheesh. Got his little Jocelyn Rock flow going right there. 
But again, man, I would rather be driving my car, not just having it parked. So, it is what it is until we are back on the road. And I'm trying to be patient. Until we're back on the road, it, it's, it's just the position that we're in. So, guys, I am not going to beat you guys up too long or much longer on this video. I will let you guys go. Is that Tony? Nah, that ain't Tony. I thought that was Tony. Anyway, sorry guys. Alright man. I'm not gonna beat you guys up. I'm gonna let you guys go. I have uh just gonna drive home man and eat some of that pastrami I made that you got and it's delicious, but just let you guys know. Yeah. Eat some pastrami strong and chill out so guys listen man although we ain't get a chance to get to do what we want to do we still never we never do it average baby we never do it average baby why because we were designed from greatness man because we were designed from greatness you guys have the right the authority the responsibility to never be average